in this video we will see uh, what is uh, ETL and what are Informatica Power Center uh, components so basically uh, as we saw before ETL is uh, extract transform and load so in order to uh, move the data from the OLTP system to a data warehouse so we have a source system which is OLTP here and we have a data warehouse so we have a OLTP uh, Informatica in the middle which is transforming the data and a data warehouse so data flows like this so this part is called extract and Informatica will do the transform step and this will do the load this is the load step to load into the target so basically Informatica provides a lot of transformations like expression router lookup aggregator etc so using these transformations we can uh, transform the data in a lot of ways from uh, source to target from OLTP system to data warehouse so we will see uh, what what are the components Informatica is providing us to achieve this so when we talk about Informatica components uh, we have a designer power center has all these uh, tools within inbuilt within the power center so the collection of all these uh, tools are called is called power center and designer workflow manager workflow monitor repository manager so uh, what, what does each of these uh, uh, do so we uh, import uh, to to transform the data from OLTP to data warehouse so we import the sources targets and we do the mappings here and we so the mapping basically is a pictorial uh, way of uh, showing the source and the different transformations which is applied on the source data and finally the target so we run the mappings here using sessions and we monitor the progress of the sessions and the workflows in workflow monitor so a repository manager is mainly for administration activities like creating uh, per giving permissions on the folders to users etc so we can talk about this later so let's see uh, what a mapping looks like a mapping is a basically a source and a series of transformations like source qualifier uh, maybe an expression, maybe a lookup, maybe a router, and maybe a update strategy. And finally, we, we this this is called transform. And finally, loading into the target. Target. Target could be a database or a flat file or uh, yeah, database or a flat file basically. So th this is how a mapping is going to look like, and uh, how a workflow looks like. So this is built in built-in designer tool of power center and workflow is built in workflow manager workflow manager so how a workflow is going to look like workflow is going to look like star and session one session two session three could be in parallel with session one so any uh, combination of serial and parallel sessions could be there and each of these session is in turn calling a mapping so this session is calling M1, this session is calling M2 mapping, this session is running M3 mapping. So, yeah, this is how a workflow will look like. When you start a workflow, multiple sessions will run in some in sequence, some in parallel, the way we design it. And each of the sessions are going to call a mapping. So, in the next video, we will see a hands-on uh, demo of how we can uh, use mapping designer and workflow manager and workflow monitor to do some basic mappings, how to import source, how to import target and do the mapping as well.